Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from digitalphotographycourses.co.uk Today we are going to be looking at the excellent and free Picasa 3 uh, download from Google. If you haven't already got this program then simply go to picasa.google.co.uk and click on the download Picasa button. Once you've downloaded and installed the program, you'll be given the option to search your computer for files, and one of the options will be to search the My Documents and My Pictures folder, and the other will be to search your whole computer. I suggest you choose the My Documents option. So, assuming now that you've downloaded the program and installed it uh, and opened it up, once it's gone off and done a search, you will see something like this. Or folder as you can see here I've got lots and lots of folders and lots of pictures but what we're going to do now is assume that you've taken some photographs on your digital camera and you're going to download them onto your computer now you may already have software that does this that maybe came with the camera or you could of course use the normal Windows software so I've just taken the card out of my camera and I've just now put it into a card reader which I'm plugging in to my laptop and it will come up with a box that you'll probably recognize here we go and uh, I'm actually using Windows Vista here and you can see you've got lots of options to import pictures and the one we're going to use is this one here which says copy pictures to your computer using Picasa and it's this one so we'll just click on that now what's actually happening is the program is taking a look at the card and giving you an illustration of the photographs. Now I've just nipped into the garden just to take a few shots just to demonstrate uh, how this program works. Um, just a quick look around this screen here so we've got thumbnails of all the images on the card and we've got the option to import all the images just here or if I wish I can just choose two or three images and uh, click on import selected but on this occasion I actually want to import them all so I'm just going to click on import all and one of the great things about Picasa over some of the programs is it does demand a folder name from you now some programs will actually just automatically give the folder the um, maybe the date um, or the day of the date or something like that and the time which when you actually come to look at them really doesn't mean a great deal so um, I'm just going to put in here a folder name we're going to call it garden pictures and as you can see that they're stored in the my pictures folder in the subfolder called garden pictures if you click on browse here you can actually go off and change where you want to store your pictures so I'll just cancel that and accept the default uh, you've also got a place taken so what I'll do there is I'm just going to put Smeet and Westerby as you see I've used that quite a few times so it's automatically filled that box in for me and we have the date and you can choose today's date or any other date so maybe if you took them sort of a few days beforehand you could sort of choose that date and then we have description now it is a good idea to sort of use a description for your pictures because Picasa has an excellent search function built into it and this search function looks at things like the description and the folder names so if I just sort of say things that I've got pictures of here and I'll say flowers uh, garden and plants and then later on if I do a search for any of those search terms it'll find those pictures for me I'm just going to click on finish so we can import the photographs and there you go as you can see we very quickly imported those images and this is the name that I gave the folder you see here it says Smeet and Westby which was where they were taken and we have the uh, the caption here flowers garden plants etc so we can use that on a search and just to prove it works if I just click off this folder here in the top I just do a quick search for plants and there you go it's brought up that folder with the plants in okay so we'll just take that out bring all the folder pictures back up okay so now we've imported our photographs we can actually if we wish we have a slider down here bottom right and if we move that we can make the pictures a wee bit larger or smaller there we go 
and what I'd like to do now is we're actually going to sort of file these pictures and just make a few edits to them. Um, we can scroll through the pictures and look at them at a larger size simply by clicking on, double clicking on one of the pictures and using this arrow here or back to scroll away through the photographs. You can also use the left and right arrow keys. So we can scroll through the photographs there. As I say these are just quick snaps from the garden just to illustrate how the program works. So this one we can do one or two edits. This picture as you can see is on its side and I can rotate it to the right clockwise. Just hit the right arrow key and we'll go to the next picture. That's okay, that's okay. Now that one as you can see is slightly out of focus. So I'm going to delete that one. So just press delete and there you go that's deleted that picture. If I scroll the way through the rest of them, which see one or two of them, maybe a little bit dark. So what we can do is we can edit them. So just go back to the beginning. Here's our first photograph. And the thing you'll use probably most of all is this thing that says, I feel lucky. Lots and lots of other programs in here, lots of other things that we can look at at a later date. But the first thing is the I feel lucky. And you see it's a one click fix. And we just click on there and it may make quite a difference. It may not. Let's go to the next one. There you go, not a great deal of difference on these, but a tiny bit of difference. So I'm just working my way through those. And all I'm doing is pressing the right arrow key and then clicking the I feel lucky button. So this is just a good way of doing quick edits. Now the great thing about Picasso is any edits that you do are non-destructive. That is, you can click undo and they will go back to how they were and you can even click redo okay now what I'd like to do now is just to help us find these things in future again is I'd just like to make a caption so if you come down to the bottom of the photograph here you can see it says make a caption if you just click on there and I'm just going to call this blue flower and then click on the arrow to take me back to the previous picture there we go, and just work our way through there. We'll say yellow flower. Again, okay, pink flower. So you can see, you can very quickly add descriptive text, and these captions can actually be quite long. So if I wanted to, I could say pink flower in my garden in Smeet and Westerby. Okay, another yellow flower, purple. Um, there you go, we'll just have one for that one. Duck. Call it stone duck. There we go. So that is how we can add a caption and file a picture. Now if we want to, we can actually rename the photograph as well. And if we just click on the picture and we go edit um sorry picture batch edit, we can actually choose rename or we've got the F2 key that you can see there. Now I'm a great fan of shortcuts myself, so what I'm just going to do is press the F2 key, and there you go, and I can actually call the image red flower, as opposed to giving it a caption. And now you'll notice that this image is called red flower, whereas before it was called DC something something something. If you wish, you can actually select various photographs. So what I can do is I can actually select uh, all the pictures with flowers on. So we'll have uh, those pictures there. And I can do a batch edit, again, by pressing F2. And I've selected five files. If I just call these five files flowers and click on rename, you will notice that the if I click on a picture there, the caption becomes flowers and it will also pick up a number so it says flowers one you can just see just here and then this one's called flowers two and flowers three so if you've got lots of pictures of the same thing you can do a batch rename okay thank you very much indeed that, that concludes this picasso tutorial from digitalphotographycourses.co.uk and i hope to see you again soon